All right, we're back again, just about at the end now of Learning Guide 13. We're going to be looking at some more real-life situations. Uh, we're going to look at a Ferris wheel now. So we have a Ferris wheel. So I drew a little picture here for you. So in our little description here, we have um, the radius is 20. So in my little picture here, because in word problems, it's nice to see it visually. So that's 20, so that's also 20. Um, so right off the bat, if the radius is 20, I know right down there, that's gonna be our middle line, and the high point here is gonna be, and this is gonna be the low point. So I know my amplitude is 20. All right. Now, the next thing, it says it rotates in 40 seconds. So that's the period, is 40 seconds. So, all Ferris wheels, just remember, all Ferris wheels are going to start at the bottom. They're going to go up to the top and then come back down. All right? So that means this time in seconds, that's the 40 seconds. That's where you get back. So that's one period. So we want to get the B though, because we're going to be writing an equation. So it's going to be 2 pi over 40, or you can simplify it to pi over 20. All right. Now the phase shift is zero. It's going to be a negative cosine, because you get on at the bottom. You don't go in the middle or at the top. And the D. Now, if you do get something wrong in this function writing, it's going to be the D, because you see this here, it says you get on the lowest point, that's why it's a cosine negative, at 2. Okay, remember, this is 2 right here, where you get on, right there. But remember, the radius is 20, so this is 22. So that's your midline, 22. And this would be 42. All right? So there's a quick sketch. Now let's write the equation. Well, we got all the ingredients there. So it's going to be y equals negative. Because it's going to be a cos negative. And it's going to be pi over 20. And you can use x or t plus the midline 22. Now it's the same thing that we've been doing earlier. We want to find the height at 45 seconds, so that is going to go into the X or the T, if I want to label it T. Well, if you did that, uh, you should get an answer of 7.86 meters, okay? And if you want to find the height at 35, okay, the first time, so if I was looking at my graph, so 35 is somewhere around here, so it's going to be about there. And if you did all your algebra right and all that calculations, or if you use Desmos, you should have got an answer of 14.5 seconds. So after being on the ride for 14 and a half seconds, you have reached a height of 35 meters. Okay, so I want you guys to try this question here. Very similar to the one we just did. You can pause it and you can check the answer. Okay, so I'm just going to come in now. Uh, the amplitude is going to be 30, because remember, 
60 is the diameter and the radius is your amplitude. So we watch that, so it's 30. The period was, it took 80 seconds. So the B is going to be pi over 40 reduced, because remember you're putting two pi over that to reduce it. Uh, the C is zero, because again, it's gonna be a negative cosine, and the D is 35. <clears throat> so the answer we should get is this, and if you want to find the height at 50, if you did all your calculations right, you should have got 26.67 seconds.